Okay, hello, welcome to the Messy Start tutorial. Uh, this is not going to be a normal tutorial. This is going to use what we've learned so far and uh, apply it. So, right now we're going to make a calculator. Calculator. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to surround this into a while loop. And we're just going to say while true. So, this is going to be an infinite loop until we put something called a break, which you learned in last tutorial. So uh, what we want to do is we're going to have a menu. We're going to ask it what the user wants to do. So why don't we help go ahead and do that first. Console.write line. Uh, and we're going to write uh, what would you like to do. And we're going to copy this paste and we're going to add all our options. Would you like to one add? Would you like to subtract, multiply, divide, use modulus, etc. Three, four, five. Subtract. We can even add like powers of, square roots of, things like that. And all the other math fact uh, functions like absolute value stuff like that. And last one is uh, modulus. Probably spelled that wrong. Yep, I did. Okay. So after we give the user his uh, options, we can get which one he wants to do. We can store this in a string. String action. I'm just gonna say. Uh, Add for the default action, and we're going to say console no, action equals console. <coughs> excuse me. Dot read line. Okay, that gets our action. Then, oh, actually, let's add one more option called quit. Quit, and uh, actually, let's make this default quit, and. After this, we're going to get our action and we're going to put it in our switch statement. So, nothing, nothing surprising, right? We've done this before. Case, add, break, subtract, etc. Uh, multiply. Uh, I think that was the third one, fourth one. Divide. Modulus. And there's something we could do. Uh, there's something uh, we can do. We can make one case have multiple cases. So we can have case that and case whatever. So we're going to have quit and whatever other function be the default. Actually, you know what? That's a dumb idea. Scratch that. Just make it its own. And yeah, like that. And for the quit function, we're going to say, or actually, let's put a boolean up here. Cool. Want to quit equals false. And we're going to say, well, you do not want to quit. Okay, we're going to say one to quit equals true. And then it's going to quit. Okay, so to use these functions, we're going to have to have uh, variables. We're going to have to have numbers to work with. So why don't we go ahead and make those? So let's make an integer. And we're going to call this current number. Set it equal to zero as a default. We're going to have another integer. Call it uh, number... Two. I don't know. Didn't have anything other, anything else in my head to call it, so I just named it number two. So for the current number, we're gonna say if current. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Actually, let's make it. Ah, uh, sorry. 
I'm sort of thinking this through while I'm programming. Okay. So get rid of that. Let's say console dot right line. We're gonna say enter a number to work with. And we're gonna say current number equals convert dot two int thirty-two uh, console dot right line and oops not right line read line and we're gonna go uh, yeah so it's gonna get a number and then we're going to after we get the action we're going to write right line sorry enter another number to manipulate current number okay and I'm gonna say number two equals actually we could just copy this because it's gonna do the same thing just replace it with number two okay I'm gonna zoom out so you can sort of see this where we are this is what it looks like I'm going to zoom back in. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing fine on time. So, we're pretty much set. We just have to uh, do these little functions. So, for case add, we're going to say uh, current number plus equals number two. So, it's going to add the current number with number two. For subtract, we're going to say current number is minus equal number 2. For divide, divide is equal by number 2. For multiply, times equals number 2. And for modulus, modulus equals number 2. Okay? So, we basically have our calculator made. Let's go ahead and run this. It's going to say enter a number to work with. I'm going to work with the number 7. Okay. It ended. Why? Oh, that's because we set this defaults. <laughs> We're gonna say this while one to quit. So while this is true, it's gonna run, which we set default, so it's not gonna even run. So we want to say while it does not want to quit. That's where this little handy not logical operator comes in handy. Enter a number to work with. Okay, let's work with seven. What would you like to do with this? I would like to add. Enter num number to manipulate the current number. I would like to add three. Actually, yeah, three. And we forgot something. Uh, at the end of each statement, we should say console dot write line current number is equal to current num. Oops, current number. So if we go ahead and run this, enter number number to work with, three, I mean, sorry, seven. What do you want to do? I want to add, enter number to manipulate current number, three. Current number equals 10, because seven plus 10, seven plus three equals 10, good. Okay, now I want to subtract. So I'm gonna say subtract, enter a number to man manipulate the current number. So I'm gonna subtract five. Okay, now current number equals five. That makes sense. I'm going to test divide. Divide. I'm going to divide it by two. Current number equals two because we we'll remember we're we're working with integers, so it's going to truncate it. It's going to chop off all those decimal points. Uh, now I want to multi multiply. Multiply. Multiply by seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Now I want to use modulus. Uh, modulus. And I want it to mod by four. Okay, good. So that works. Now I want to quit. So I'm going to type in quit. Okay, so it ends program. Good. That's exactly what we want it to do. So that's how you make a simple calculator with every, pretty much everything we've learned to do, with the exception of arrays. We'll do something with arrays later. But for now, um, you can see the importance of loops and why we use them. 
Hope you enjoyed this sort of long tutorial. Um, leave a like rating, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.